Fortunately for the prey, it does not always end in victory for the lion. Mountain lions are the last of the three uh, uh, species of large predators uh, in the Estes Park area. Wolves and grizzly bears were extirpated about the turn of the century. But we have a very, very healthy mountain lion population around Estes. Of course, we have lots of deer and, and elk and bighorn sheep, and these are all uh, prey species of mountain lions. I've seen uh, several kills of, of each species, uh, deer, elk, and bighorns, uh, that mountain lions have taken, and some of these have been right in, in people's backyards uh, with the deer and elk right around town. We also have mountain lions. They also will uh, take uh, raccoons and small animals, uh, including, unfortunately, your uh, uh, house cat or, or dog. And uh, so we have to let residents know that uh, they have to be cognizant that we do have mountain lions in the, the area. It's uh, seldom you do see a mountain lion. They're very secretive and primarily nocturnal, but once in a while, yeah, you'll get lucky and, and see one. Mountain lions, also known as puma or cougars, are masterpieces of predatory evolution and are the top predator at Rocky Mountain National Park. They are large and powerful yet quiet and can seem virtually invisible. These silent hunters rely on stealth. They may reach over nine feet long, one third of that being tail and weigh 175 pounds. In recent years, cougars have become more and more common in the Estes Park area and in the lower elevations of Rocky Mountain National Park on both sides of the divide. They inhabit rocky outcroppings with adequate brush cover. A visitor is very unlikely to see a mountain lion, but it is a mysteriously gratifying feeling just knowing they are there. <laughs>